Watergate is a card game for two players that brings to life the most notorious political scandal in American history. One player will take on the role of Nixon and his administration as they try to cover up the crimes committed at the Watergate Hotel just long enough to write out the presidential term. The other player takes on the role of a newspaper editor and their team, trying to uncover the truth before the public grows weary of the news cycle. Every action in Watergate is accomplished by playing a card, and every card is divided into two parts. In the upper left-hand corner is the value part, and the lower half is the action part. When playing a card, you must decide which part of the card you will use. The value part will allow you to interact with the evidence and momentum tokens along the research track according to the value printed. This is a generic maneuver, but its strength comes from its flexibility. If you choose the action part, simply follow the printed instructions. These are very powerful and unique abilities. Some are so powerful that they are discarded from the game after being played. While strong, these actions are very specific in scope and will require some expert timing to make the most of. Every card in Watergate is based on an actual historical event or person. With every play of a card, you will be invoking the past as well as furthering your position in the game. It's a true melding of history and gameplay. The manual also includes an appendix detailing the historical significance of every person and event depicted on the cards. You can learn about major players such as Rose Mary Woods, Alexander Butterfield, Gordon Liddy, and Chuck Colson, as well as events like the presidential election of 1972 and the Pentagon Papers. The rules of play for both roles in Watergate are the same, which makes it easy to learn. However, they have very different objectives and very different tools to accomplish them. The newspaper editor is trying to connect informants to the president via a line of evidence their team uncovers. If the editor manages to connect at least two informants, the president's lies are exposed and the editor wins the game. But when the highest office in the land is actively working against you, that's easier said than done. President Nixon's objective is to collect five momentum tokens, which is enough to propel him to the end of his term, as well as claiming victory in the game. This simple task, made more complicated when the free press, is constantly out to find the truth. To further differentiate the sides, each role has a completely separate and unique deck of cards to work with. Two unique experiences in a single box. The board of Watergate is divided into two distinct areas. Most of it is taken up by the evidence board, and along the side is the research track. Much of the game revolves around playing cards to manipulate the evidence and momentum tokens on this track. It simulates the limited resources available to each side. The newspaper can only devote so much time and money to uncovering evidence and keeping the public interested, while the president can only be so blatant about covering it up. Once the game of tug of war is decided on the research track, both sides will claim their evidence markers and place them on the evidence board. The newspaper editor will be trying to connect the informants along the outside to Nixon in the middle with their collected evidence, while the president will be looking to shut down those paths of information. Watergate offers a rich and historical landscape as a backdrop for a tense head-to-head -head tabletop experience. The rules are easy to grasp and give way to a deep and varied gameplay. All of that is packed into a compact package that can be played in an hour or less. The fate of democracy hangs in the balance. Your actions will determine whether the free press will prosper or political might proves too strong. Watergate is available now.